Hello, everybody, and welcome to our channel. I'm Sam. That's Bailey, and I'm Ryan, and it's time to read our diary. Oh, Sam with the wine. All right. We went to Century City for a bit of shopping at the mall there, set in the stage. Ryan went to the bathroom and peed next to Cody Co. Oh, yeah! It's true. This happened. It's true. Ryan mentioned that it was not his first experience peeing next to somebody famous, as he's previously peed next to Rami Malek, oh. Ansel Elgort, oh. and the songwriting duo Pasek and Paul. I'm sorry. I need story times right this second. Famous peers. It's like famous birthdays, but for people you've peed next to. Uh, Tell me the Rami story. Yeah. That's well, the one I care about the most. <clears throat> Before we do that, I do just want to say, like, I, I want to you know, debunk the theory. Like, celebrities are not superhuman. They're just like us. Everybody goes to the bathroom, folks. Even your favorite celebrities. Everybody pees. Nice. Sometimes. Uh, yeah. Rami, tell us about it. Uh, a friend of mine was invited to a screening of... Uh, we will, we will rock you. Bohemian Is that what it's called? Bohemian Rhapsody. 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 Thank you, not we will rock you. And... Uh, at the end of that screening, uh, Rami, I think the director and the producer were doing like a QA and a because it was like fun. a special people screening and fun, we were in fun, fun. And uh, so Rami was there because he had to speak afterwards and I went to the bathroom and uh, he was in there. And cool. he kind of walked out as I, well, he was, he was finishing peeing as I was beginning peeing, the journey of peeing. Okay. And uh, he was really short. <laughs> I mean, Compared to me, which isn't saying much, but because I'm tall. Yeah. But uh, riveting. Yeah, no, I mean, again, these are it's stories about peeing, peeing next to people. It's not like, yeah, like we high fived at the <laughs> stall and we talked about our moms. Like, I no, know. it's because you don't like kind of. You don't talk to people you know, at a urinal, yeah, I would you imagine. Have your, you have your whole life in your hands and you're expelling fluids. You don't, don't kind of turn them and be like, hey, big fan, by the way. Yeah. Like, that's kind of not uh, That would be vibe. horrible. Yeah, not the vibe. Horrible. Don't approach people in the bathroom for any reason. Yeah. Pasek and Paul was at JTF. That makes sense. The year I was at JTF and we were in the bathroom together. Checks but, but out. We weren't like in the bathroom. Like, that sounds like it was an active choice. It was passive. I was in the, I walked into the bathroom and they were there. They were there. Too. And uh, Ansel Elgore was at the West Side Story premiere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which we went to. You makes weren't sense. in the bathroom because you weren't a boy. No. But I guess that means I was technically at some point in the same bathroom as Rachel Zegler. If she, I, went, if to she bathroom, went to the bathroom that, that night, I don't know. Can't, I Maybe she consumed no fluids that day, but Confirmed. that's fun. Rachel Confirmed. Zegler doesn't drink anything. Anything. Not water. No. Nope. Not, not soda. Nothing. Nothing. She just just her just, talent yeah. fuels herself. Yeah. She doesn't she doesn't eat anything. Mm. That's just, the secret to sounding that good. Don't drink water. water. <laughs> on our way home, Ryan turned down the wrong way down a one-way street. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yes, I will it was say. So sc- okay, yes, please is, come to my defense because I, I it, sound, it makes it sound like I'm an idiot and it I'm not. Really oh, does. we have the giraffe legs back there <sighs> just poking out. Didn't don't, realize don't that. Don't let them know. They can't just know. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. The curtain's been closed this whole time. Gira- what giraffe? What giraffe? There's no giraffe back there. <laughs> what? This did occur on a horribly designed street uh, in Century City. It is What's that mall confusing. Called? Westfield? It's, is it Westfield? No, or is it just like Century City? I don't know. Couldn't tell. You. I don't know. I've only been there like twice. I don't know all the names. No. Do you know what's funny? Is I've only been there for the. Uh, exclusive screening of In the Heights that we went to. And the exclusive and screening, screening of, of Top Gun Maverick. And Funny. the time that we went shopping there. So we've been there thrice. Three times, but... It, Third time's the charm to turn uh, down the, the wrong way of a one-way street. It, this street is very confusing. Basically, you think you're getting into like a left-hand turn lane to then turn left, but the street is so wide that you just end up... <laughs> going down a one-way street. It's very hard to explain. The, the left it's turn confusing. is basically straight. You go straight through the light and then take a left because, like Sam said, it's an extraordinarily wide street. Mm-hmm. So taking a left looks like you're going straight. There is a like one-way sign, but yeah. it's very small and like kind of on the wrong side of the street. It is. <laughs> and 
so that looks like you're going straight. So to turn left, it looks like you just kind of go and then turn left. And so I turned left and I saw cars coming towards me in every lane. And I was like, I don't think this is right. Pulled a scary. quick Yui. It was very baby driver of me. Yeah. And yes. uh, got us to safety because I'm a hero, even though I, I put us in harm's yeah. way in the first yeah. place. You, are, are you a hero if you cause the danger in the first place? Yes. Brian got an unknown call from a random Des Moines number. Des Moines, Iowa. Iowa. Wow. I was like, what's Des Moines? How you doing, Iowa fans? Shout out, Iowa. Yep. Big shout out. He ignored the call, but oh. they left a voicemail. It was one of those robocall scams, but this one really upped the ante, saying that if he didn't call them back, his, and I quote, would soon be dead. I believe we have, yes, we do. We have audio. <gasps> Uh, oh. Shall we take a listen? Oh God! Yes. Okay. Here we go. And we have found some ill eagle activity on your name. Kindly press one to connect with said agent. If we don't hear from you, then you're and will be sued and dead. We'll be sued and dead. What do you do when you receive a voicemail? Like you don't that? press one. I'll tell you that much. You, you don't call them back. No, that's for sure. But because that's just, also I think clearly about, a robot voice. I think too. about all of the people that this works on. Like I, the, I remember the first time I got a robocall on like my first cell phone as like a fourteen year old or something, and. I believed it. I was like, yeah. oh my God, this is terrifying. Like I, because when you're 14, you always think you're in trouble. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, I definitely did something wrong. I like was thinking about calling them. It was like this whole, it was like a day event in my psyche. And I eventually like decided to come clean and tell my parents and my mom's face like went white. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so in trouble. I did something wrong. She was like, Ryan, you didn't call that number back. Right. And I was like, no, but didn't you hear? I, I have a legal activity on my account. She's like, no, that's not what I'm afraid of. This is a scam. Yeah. Did you give them mom's credit card information? Right, exactly. Like, did you exactly. tell them your social security number? But again, that was like illegal activity on your account. Like the IRS will be fining you a million dollars. They're yeah. upping the ante now. You're going to be, we're going You're to kill you. Dead. Your <laughs> will soon be dead is what they said. I, can we listen to it again? Sorry, I just want to hear it one more time and see if, like, I can potentially hear anything else. And we have found some ill, eagle activity on your name. Kindly press 1 to connect with said agent. If we don't hear from you, then you're and will be sued and dead. No, literally just sued. Oh, sued and sued dead. Sued and dead. Oh, not soon be dead. Sued no, soon, and dead. Sued and dead. I mean, hopefully in that order, because you can't kill me and then sue me. I'll already be gone, friends. And they're going to come after your estate. That's oh, what that no. means. The Ryan McCartan estate. And the, the, the low confidence beta transcription I... says said agent, but I think she says fed agent. You know, because it's always the feds. It's always the federal agent, the IRS. Oh, That's who's coming after you. This is... A full gag. Oh, truly. I The fact that... Sorry. Just seeing low confidence in parentheses. Yeah, I have low confidence <laughs> in these people too, phone. Like, you got that right. Like, I I love to believe that that was Apple saying, like, we have low confidence that this is even real. Right. Like, I know it's about the transcription, but... But I, uh, it's my better. phone is saying I actually have low confidence in the credibility in of this call. what this is. Like, don't, you don't need to worry about this. They're not, they're not going to kill you. You're... Won't soon be dead. dead. <laughs>